Hi, my name's Chris and welcome to my channel Maverick Next Gen. If you want to find more about the Remarkable 2 latest features and how to use it and be creative, then this is the channel for you. This is an epic video because what I'm going to show you today is a real time installation and creation of a custom template straight onto your Remarkable 2 using the Remarkable Connection Utility by Davis Remmel. Now, what I will say is that I have no affiliation to Davis. He's a great coder. I've come across the Remarkable Connection Utility having done so much research. I'm a programmer myself. I've gone on Reddit and I've gone on Google. I've looked at videos on YouTube and this is the software that I would recommend to use for custom template uploads. The reason being is because there are so many videos out there that teach you how to go low level to access the, the templates themselves and the JSON template file and edit it. As you know, as, as a normal consumer yourselves, you might be not tech savvy and might be a bit reluctant to actually do these things. There is a warning and a caveat. You can potentially damage your Remarkable 2 by changing the, the file structure or some of the files. It is a proprietary system that is used by Remarkable to use the user interface. So you don't really want to break your Remarkable 2. The reason why I started thinking about looking for a software desktop client application, I wanted to do this thing really simply because I knew custom templates were the way forward to make the most out of the Remarkable 2. And because also it wasn't provided with the, the desktop application, the, the app, the mobile app. So it's left me wanting. And I know, having been able to do this myself and program, that there must be an easier way. And it shouldn't be long before, hopefully, fingers crossed, Remarkable will, the company themselves, will make this custom templates available in the desktop application. But for now, this is something that I highly recommend. And David Swimmel, he supports it for $12 and you can buy it from his website. And I will show you right here how to do this. So we're gonna go step by step through this installation and out at the end of it, you'll be able to install your, or upload even your, your new template. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is where it gets exciting, guys. Right, I'm gonna start the clock. I've got my, my watch here. And let's start it now. I'm just gonna go to Google quickly, just to, so that you know what to do. And I'm gonna type in Davis Remmel. Oh yeah, there you go. Obviously, I've done this before. Um, and you want to click the second link, the, day, the Remarkable Connection Utility by Davis Remmel. Now, as I mentioned, okay, I'm, I'm no affiliation to Davis. I know he's a great coder because I've looked at his code and it's something that I would write in the style that he would write it because it's very polished and high quality. Okay, so what we got here is a Remarkable Connection Utility website and you will have to buy it and it, it's $12 and it works on various platforms I don't want to go into too much detail, but I want to install it. So my platform of choice at the moment is Windows 10. Okay, so I'm just going to say I've paid my $12. I've got an email from Davis and he's given me the download link and I've downloaded the, the zip file, but I'll show you what it's going to be doing. So I got a snippet the other day about it. So this is what you'll get. You'll get a series of links and you'll be able to click on the, the platform that you want. And because the binary is already included in it. What I mean by that, sorry. The binaries are the application itself. You don't have to do anything to it. You just unzip it or untar it, whatever you will, and it's ready to run. You just double click on the executable and it will work. I got my email, clicked on the link, went to Windows 10, download zip, okay. And then I literally downloaded the zip. I've created a folder called RCO RC demo in, in my downloads folder. And that there is the, the zip file. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract it. Click extract here. Now you have the folder directory, which literally is everything you need, okay? And in there is the user manual. I will open it up very quickly just to show you that it's, it's excellently written. There's 53 pages of good quality stuff. If you don't, if you're not a programmer, there are things you look for in a programmer. You want to make sure that there's um, support, there's documentation, there's source code. Well, I would like source code because you want to make sure that the code that is written is of high quality. 
but nonetheless it's it's one 53 pages of good documentation read it at your heart's content but for now I, i'm i'm telling you that it is it is quality and the the 12 dollars gets you 12 months of updates so it should be good to go with the remarkable it will be compatible with it going forward for 12 months and every 12 months you'd have to pay another 12 dollars unless he increases his price i would say it's a small price to pay for some convenience but you guys may think ah it should be free a remarkable should give it to me free but it's not okay so take it or leave it right so i will leave this at your own leisure i'm just scrolling down da -da. it's fascinating actually and i i would want to delve into it myself and create probably another tab pane just just to give myself more functionality so the clock's ticking what we're going to do now i we could launch this from here but what i'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and put it in my C drive and create a new folder called RCU. Okay. Normally I'll put in my program files, which I have done. This is just demonstrating to you how quick it is. Okay, right. So now, so I've literally copied that to there. I'm going to record this. What you need to do, guys, is go to oops, that's going to fall off. You need to go to your settings. Oh, sorry. Let me click that. Okay, you need to go to your settings. And go to help. Copyright. And obviously what you need to do is you need to go down to this section and get your IP address and your password, okay? Once you've done that, then you can go to the RCU, okay? So we're going to go flick off across there and I'm going to stop that there. So once you've got that, we go to the RCU, I'm going to double click on it. So I know what mine was and I'm going to type in the password. So this is obviously something else. You can always save this. Okay and save and then we're going to connect now if you notice here I'm doing this on Wi-Fi I have not got any cable as you can see there's no cable da -da -da. and uh, I don't know what happened there. hang on let's go here there you go so I'm going to connect so let me go back back connect Okay, as you can see in the background, it's all connecting. Very good. And then up pops. Woohoo! Look at that in templates. So here is a selection. So I've shown you in another video the uh, calendar that I've done. And there you go. You can, I'm pressing the down button just to scroll through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and create our own demo template. Okay, so. So in the description, I want you to pick up this link and put it in the browser. And what you can do is you can download this one here. Just download, go to the download. click download button. this download button I want you to click that download button so what I did there was save as so what we want to do is go to the RCU and go to my templates And save that great so now we've got uh, an example template that we're going to use and then I want to go to what you to go to start and go to paint okay so what you're gonna do you're gonna expand this the PNG that you just downloaded from my 
repository is a, a bullet journal template. Okay, and we're just gonna we're just gonna edit it a bit so that we we can show you the, the process of uploading it. So if we go to open, okay, so RTU templates. Let's open it up. And the beauty of this is it's it's actually got the right dimensions. It's one four oh four by one eight seven three. Now, for those you astute people out there, it is actually one four zero four by one eight seven two. But we'll, I'll show you what happens when you upload it. So, what I'm going to do is now we're going to go and put a rectangle here. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm scrolling with my my mouse with my finger just to do that. And what we have here is great. Okay, so let's save that. Save as um, CT test. Yeah, CT CT template demo. Okay, and click save. Now, what you can do, we've done that. Okay, we can go to the RCU click down there again and upload click the upload button click the CT template demo okay and the template does not match because it says it's that and that's the default um, resolution that it should do if you click yes anyway you'll be brought up to the iconography okay so it obviously puts the name in it's got a various selection, but what I like to do is I, I like to put mine in life org because that's me customizing things. And I want to select the template, which has lots of dots. Okay. Now I'm going to go and get to the, the camera and let's go back. Right. So now I'm going to click create. And what's just happened is it's just restarted. Okay. Now, if you can see, there is my new template. So let's go into it. I'm going to go into my, and as you can see, this is the original bullet journal template that came off of my repository website. But if I now go to template, go to whoops what happened there if I now go to template go to life organize and scroll up there it is CT demo and there we have it you have your nice new bordered okay and just just for your recollection guys is that I'm going to do something now where I'm going to delete this template and you can go, oh, and delete it now. Show details, that means portrait. It's just restarted. And I'm gonna go back into that notebook to see what happens. Okay, so that was the last page. unable to load document background. That's because it can be found, okay? So what happens is if we re-upload it, let's try it again. Again, oh, well, that's interesting. It says 1872 now, who knows? Right, click yes. And again, I'm going to go to re-up there. Whoops, where's the dots? There's the dots, create. Now I'd like to hazard a guess that it will rejoin itself and relink. So let's go and do that. Ah! Not quite yet. So in that last part of the video, what I did was I deleted the template just to show you what would happen. And I thought that it would rejoin, but clearly um, when you re-upload it, it must create a unique ID. Okay. And what that means is you, what I showed you, you have to reselect the template to join it back up. And so you don't get that error of 
uh, unrecognized uh, templates. Let's go to template. Let's go to Life Organize. It's very straightforward, but one thing I need to do is, is show you the um, so it's my projects. It's page number one. Date it six day. And we go to paintbrush. Kaboom. So if you like that how-to video on how to do custom templates, please subscribe to my channel, click on that subscribe button and the notifications bell and you'll get updates the new vids that come. Okay, that's it. And it really is that straightforward. If you want to know anything else about the RCU, uh, please leave comments below. Enjoy it. Like I said, there is a warning that if you're, if you're really reluctant to do this, then don't do it if you don't feel comfortable but I've just walked you through from beginning to end how to do it and it's that straightforward and what I really want you to take away is that custom templates is the way forward okay it really is not efficient to get PDFs onto your uh, remarkable and copy it all to directories because you want it to be in the templates management system and I think the reason why remarkable 2 isn't doing it or forthcoming with it is because there are implications. But anyway, that's by the by, I've shown you how to get something really quickly. Go be productive. Hey, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and look at my channel for more exclusive videos.